Creating a general plan consisting of 272 Irvin in 7 minutes with USMART. First we reference the drawing of the outer plot. Then we place construction lines from the lines in the reference file. Using USMART cadaster place, create the cadaster parcel from these construction lines. Delete the unnecessary construction lines. We now place our general plan sheet. USMART sheets are fully configurable to user requirements. I'm rotating the view so that it is more comfortable to work. Add the cadaster points to the parcels corners and then import the block corner points. Reference the drawing of the new parcels. This can be any supported type of drawing file, like a DXF. Again we place construction lines and then we merge the text in the reference file to our design file. I'm changing the levels of these parcels to a different level than the outer one so that we can process them individually when we need it. Create the 272 parcels from the construction lines and then delete the construction lines. We now label the direction and distance of the parcels. I'm switching off the outer parcel so that it is not labeled. So just clean up here a bit. We can now extract the sheet. Text items such as the parcel descriptions are automatically rotated to the bottom of the sheet during the extraction. Using USMART Cadaster Edit, graphically group the points and then move the point names that may be inside the data area. I'm just using the selection tool and then grabbing the names and moving them outside the area where, um, where we want to, don't want them. We can now add the information to our sheet using the USMART sheet data routine. A lot of the information is automatically extracted, such as the scale, uh, the parcel names and areas, the block corner points, um, and town survey marks, and the outer parcel side information, like the direction and the distance and the name of the points. The other information is quickly entered into this dialog box and added to the correct positions in the sheet. It is easy to edit this data at any time. So if later on you need to fix the data, you just open the sheet data dialog box again um, and then change what you need to do and apply that information to the sheet. Okay, so we apply that and it gets added to the sheet. All right. Now we're going to move the lists that are on the sides of the sheet into their correct positions on the plan. The lists are initially placed outside of the area to cater for the variation in the general plans. 
If they are a fixed size, you can add them to the inside of the sheet, which will then obviously make things a bit easier and you don't have to move stuff. Okay. So you can see here that we leave a lot of space um, at the bottom just in case there are more points. So we're just moving that line um, and then shortening the lines as required. We will look at automating this procedure in the future. There are already other cadaster edits and sheet routines in USMART um, that we show in our other videos uh, where we do things very automated. So creating the individual diagrams of each of these parcels will be just as fast. Uh, there are routines to automatically clean the neighboring parcels, place the points with their correct names, export to shapefiles, etc., etc. Okay, so now we're just going to place the north arrow using the USMOT symbol place routine. And then finally, uh, we just place a fence around this area. If I can get my fence to work. And then we're going to plot the sheet to a PDF file. And there we go. We're done in seven minutes. Here you can see the results of all the steps that we've just done, uh, such as the labeling on the parcels. You'll see that the um, descriptions have been rotated to the bottom of the sheet. And here's the information that was automatically extracted. The areas, directions, distances, coordinates. And this is the PDF that we created. You can also plot directly to your plotter or print, uh, or print to a TIFF file or a JPEG file. Thank you for watching our video.